What is up guys, I am back with another episode today of My Mandela Effect. So this, the last one wasn't perceived as well as I thought it would. It was kind of just a one-off bit for me to like get the series going. So this one, I've been going out into the internet looking for suggestions. And again, as I always say, if you have any suggestions about Mandela Effects that you've experienced that you want me to talk about, or ones that you want to ask me if I've experienced either one in either which way, please comment your suggestions down below. So let's get to this one. This one comes from a different, from another YouTuber. I forget his name, I couldn't find the video. But um, it comes with a Nintendo 64 game. That is the most interesting part of this entire um, thing. So everyone remembers the classic Spider-Man game for Nintendo 64, am I correct? This game was probably one of my favorite games growing up as a kid, and it was just amazing. Weirdly enough, um, I never beat it on Nintendo 64, I think I actually beat it on PlayStation 1, and as a kid that um, boss fight with Carnage Octopus was probably one of the scariest things I had ever experienced in my young childhood, but this was presented to me a couple weeks ago and it blew my mind because this is one that affects me in a way that I almost didn't like entirely understand. It came down to the fact, in my opinion here, of I remember it as the person who was talking about it remembered it. If you've ever bought a brand new copy of Spider-Man for the Nintendo 64, you'll know that Spider-Man is on the box, of the front of the box, with the uh, classic uh, 90's Spider-Man uh, title above it, along with the manual, he's also on there. But you'll come to find out that when it comes to the cartridge of the game, he's nowhere to be found. And when I actually thought about this, I was like, there's no way, because there's no way like that he could possibly not be on the cartridge, because you think back to all the Nintendo 64 games in the entire Nintendo 64 library, all like 400 plus or what, however many there are, you think like there's an amazing box art on every game, like let's go Mario Party and, and Legend of Zelda and Yoshi's Story, all of them resonate their box art. All of the labels resonate their box art. I have my copy of Spider-Man for Nintendo 64 in my hand right now. I remember as a child that Spider-Man was on the cover of this game. I'm not blocking this out. I truly remember him being on the front of this game. I played this game religiously. I played this game so many times in my life that I know for a fact he was on the cover. So as soon as I watched the video that someone was talking about this, I had to rush home and I had to get my copy to see if I was wrong or I was right. Turns out, he's not on the cover. As you'll see here, it's just the building that he climbs on as it is in the box art and as it is in the manual but as you can see, on the black building and the street below, Spider-Man is nowhere to be found. That is insane. Because I truly remember, I looked up everything I possibly could on this, and to be honest, I looked up different versions of the cartridge, ones from the UK, ones from other places. A lot of people um, don't know this, but the cartridge for Spider-Man, I believe in the UK, is gray instead of red. And uh, even there, on the gray cartridge, he is not on the label. And I, it, this is just mind-blowing to me, because with whether I'm wrong or I'm right, I remember playing this game, like I said, as a kid, and I remember it be, him being on this label. I'm not, like, delaying it for the PS1 version, like, I just, oh, I just thought of it, because the PS1 used to sit next to the 64, and I was like, oh yeah, totally. No, I truly remember him being on the cover of this game, and now he is gone. So I truly feel that I lived in a different time, region, or something, that he was on this cartridge. I remember him being on this cartridge, and now he's not. So I implore you to go and get your 64 copy of Spider-Man, and if he's not on there, your mind has been blown. Because holy shit, it blew my mind. I had no friggin' idea that it had come to this. I did not. This is weird. Admit that's fucking weird. Because it is weird. <sighs> Alright. Guys, 
Do you remember Spider-Man being on the cartridge of the Nintendo 64 copy of Spider-Man? Do you not remember it? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more Mandela Effect or more streams and videos and all the good stuff that I bring you, be sure to hit like, smash subscribe, and comment whatever you'd like down below. I am Nighthawk, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Goodbye, guys.